Welcome back to another very exciting tutorial here at the PhotoshopTrainingChannel.com. My name is Jesus Ramirez, and you can find me on Instagram at JR from PTC. Another big change in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 can be found in the new document window. You can access the new document window by pressing the keyboard shortcut Control N to create a new document or selecting the new button in the start workspace or by going into file and new. And this is what the new document window looks like now. And the items that you'll see by default are the most recent. In this case, default Photoshop size, a template that I've used, and we're gonna talk more about templates in a moment, and different custom Photoshop sizes that I've created. And if you have something on your clipboard, such as a screenshot, or maybe you copied an image, you're also going to have a clipboard size. To the right, you have the preset details. Notice that if I click on default Photoshop size, the properties on the right hand side are adjusted. We have width, height, and the different units of measurement. You can change orientation by clicking on these icons here. So notice right now we have width of seven, height of five. But if I change the orientation to portrait, you'll see those two swap. I can check this box to create an artboard with my new document. I have the resolution, color modes, bit depth, background contents. Notice that right now you only see white, black, and background color. But if I click and drag on this scroll bar, there's more options. So you have transparent and custom. You can, of course, click on this color swatch to bring up the color picker for the new document background. Color profiles and the pixel aspect ratio. You can also save new document presets by clicking on this icon here. So, for example, when I create a new article on my website, PhotoshopTrainingChannel.com, I use a feature image that is 970 by 413. And I use a resolution of 72 pixels and all the other settings are fine for this example. And if I click on this icon here to save the preset, I can name it feature image PTC for my website, click on save preset. And now I have access to this preset. Every time I create a new document, you can find it under the save tab. So you will start out on the recent tab, click on save and there it is. If you don't like it, you can delete it and now it's gone. Now the biggest addition to Photoshop CC 2017 in terms of creating new documents is the photo, print, art, illustration, web, mobile, and film video categories. If I click on photo, you'll see that we have blank document presets. That's sort of what we just talked about, just blank documents with different width, heights, resolution, and things like that. But the biggest addition is the templates that you can download from Adobe Stock. We're going to work with this example a little later on, but essentially what all these different templates do is allow you to get started on a project much more quickly. You can click on the template to read about what it contains. Currently, you can download over 100 free templates. You also see the file size and you can click on see preview to see a preview of what the template looks like. I can close the preview and we have all different kinds of templates. We have brochures, business cards, mockups, and just a whole bunch of stuff that you can download and get started quickly. I'm just going to go through most of them really quick, just so you can see the difference between them. The web category includes responsive website layouts. The mobile category includes mobile UI kits and also iPhone mockups. Film and video contains title graphics and graphic overlays and things like that. So Photoshop is making it really easy for you to get started right away. And also one other thing that you can do in the new document dialog box is search for content on Adobe Stock. So now let's quickly see how these templates work. I'm going to click on the photo tab to open up one of these templates and I already have this one here it's called texture geometric mask if I click on it I can open it and you'll see this blue circle with a white check mark on it this means that this is already in my CC library 
if I select another template that I haven't yet downloaded, then I would have to first download that template. So this is what you'll have to do the first time that you try to use one of these templates. So I'm going to click on this one here that I've already downloaded and I'm going to click on the open button. Photoshop is going to open up that template and you can see it here. They're all different, but the way this one works is we have all these layers that we can disable and enable to create different geometric masks. And we have this placeholder here. It's a smart object. So if I double click on it, it opens up a new tab and I can place whatever photo I want here and apply it to a template. So I have my libraries window here. I have an image from Adobe Stock. I'm just going to simply click and drag that into this template. And of course, you can use whatever image you want for your template. And I'm just going to scale this up just so we can see how this works. I'm going to move this over to the right. And I'm just going to hit Enter. And I'm going to press Control S, Command S on the Mac to save. And I'm going to go back into the working document by clicking on the tab here. And you can see the result there. Now I can keep enabling or disabling layers to create different geometric shapes or different geometric masks. I can also go into Window, Arrange, Two Up, Vertical, and I can see both tabs at the same time so that if I select the Move tool, I can click and drag this around and then hit Control S, Command S on the Mac to save, and it automatically updates on the window on the left. So then that can help me composite this a little bit easier and faster. So every time you see it updating here on the left, it's because I'm pressing Control S, Command S to save. Now, just to quickly show you what happens in the Libraries panel, there's a new Stock Templates library where all your templates are going to be saved. And they're saved in a format called PSDT, but when you open them in Photoshop, they become PSD documents. Those are regular Photoshop files. Any change that you make to the PSD will not affect the original .psd template. And the last thing I want to show you is how to disable the new document window in case you don't like it. And you want to go back to the old new document window. So you can press Control K, Command K on the Mac to bring up the preferences window. And under general, select use legacy new document interface. If I check that, and press OK. Next time I bring up the new document window, you will get the legacy new document interface. I like the new one, so I'm going to keep using the new one. So I'm going to uncheck this box and press OK. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. Make sure that you leave all your comments or questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that like button. If you have a friend who you think will enjoy this tutorial, please share this link with them now. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.